peace, peace, peace. Good morning, good morning. I'm going to have to talk on this video, y'all. It's a simple, short video. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be refreshing my black salt, which would require me to make more black salt. So I said, since I'm refreshing, right, I might as well do a video and share what I know. Alright. So in this particular recipe, you're only going to need like four things really. It's a traditional recipe, so it's very, very basic. You can add your own um, little ingredients if you have anything else you want to add to it as long as it does not alter the color or um, the potency of the black salt, okay? So, you're going to need some pepper, some black pepper. You're going to need some ashes, all right? These ashes, they came from, um, they are the scrapings of my cauldron. This is a black iron cauldron. Um, some of these ashes also came from me burning ancestor money. When I do spell work, nothing goes to waste. I use everything. If I can reuse anything, then I reuse it. All right. You're going to need some sea salt. I save everything. And the main ingredient, charcoal. So you can take a coal disc, um, like I used to burn frankincense and myrrh, and you can break that up, and you can add it to your black salt. So like I said, I'm going to be refreshing my salt. I already have some in there, but from time to time, you will have to refresh it, so that way it doesn't lose its potency. Black salt is generally used to ward off negative energy. You can keep it on your person, or you can keep it around the area that you want to keep protected. For instance, like if you're at work and you have um, co-workers who get on your nerve, you may have a boss who's annoying. You can take it and you can tape it under your desk or something like that. All right. You can also use it to keep specific persons away from the door. You simply just draw a line across your door. While you're drawing the line, you want to make sure you're chanting the person's name in order to keep them away. You can also use it to keep certain people from away from your house simply by doing the same thing. The only thing is, is that you will be walking backwards around your house while you're sprinkling the black salt at the same time, also chanting the person's name. All right. You can also use it in spells to hex. All right, there are so many uses for black salt. You can use it too as a circle to place a, to place around a spell. All right. If you want to know the various many uses of black salt, I do recommend that you go ahead and do some research. So let's get started. And don't be afraid, as I said, to incorporate your own ideas as long as it does not take away from the potency of the salt that you are creating. So the first thing I'm going to add is I'm going to go ahead and add my black pepper. All right. I'm going to take some of these ashes and use. I'm not going to use all of them. It's a nice little bit in here. Just use your discretion. Remember, you want to keep it black. most active ingredient in, ingredient in here is the salt. This is sea salt. I use sea salt in all my workings. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of that. Let's see how it looks now. It's kind of like looking kind of grayish in there. I'm trying to show you without spilling it. 
the next ingredient, we're going to go ahead and add the charcoal. And then we're going to mix it together. I'm just going to add a little more charcoal in here because I like it to be dark, 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 dark. It's the charcoal that adds the color to it. Adds the pigment to it. It's okay if it's a little gray when you make it. If you don't like it like that, like I said, you can always add some more chocolate to it to darken the color. Okay, after you've done that, you may want to call in your spirits, whoever it is that you work with, to anoint and bless the salt, to empower it. But when you're done, it should look something like this. It's really dark. And you're basically ready to go. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty simple. Thanks for watching.